Good morning and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dawn. And I'm John. And together with the two running brooms. And today you find us in the East Riding town of Ghoul for the Ghoul Park Run. And what are the conditions like today? Cold, windy and dull. So it's cool in Ghoul. <laughs> So yes, we're here today to pace the Ghoul Park Run and it's a two and a half lap course. So I'm pacing 25 minutes, Dawn is pacing 28 minutes. So what we've done in order to try and ensure fairly accurate pacing, we've both plugged the run into well, Dawn's Garmin and my Coros and I've set the pace zones and as this park run goes, it's a relatively straightforward one to pace. I think 40% of it is on tarmac. <laughs> tarmac and about 60% of it is on flat grass and we've just done a bit of a recce of it and it's fairly firm underfoot. So pacing is one of the many roles that you can do at Parkrun. Before we dive in and get this Parkrun started, well first we're going to do a warm-up, please give this video a like and if you haven't subscribed already we'd love you to do so. So we're off for Ghoul Park Run number 348. Now given the fact we're both pacing it was important for me to consult my watch fairly early on to make sure I wasn't overdoing or, or underdoing it and I was quite happy with the pace early on in the first 400 meters as was Dawn and you can see us progressing nicely through the course here still checking the watch. So I went through the first kilometre in 4.52, a little quicker than the goal pace but that's okay because it was the flatter bit of the course. I also went through a little bit quick at 5.17 a kilometre but I wasn't too concerned at this stage, it was very early days. And so into kilometre two and round the bottom end of the park on the tarmac section. You'll see us going past the cafe here and in a little while past the bandstand. Now a bit of an interesting history to West Park in Ghoul. It was opened in 1923, which makes it 101 years old. And it was funded uh, by money from the Unemployed Grants Committee. So this was money given to local authorities by central government to provide work for men who had returned home from the Great War and found themselves unemployed and not living in a land fit for heroes as had been promised. So if you do pay a visit to West Park to run the Ghoul Park Run, please bear in mind the lives of the people who built this park that you can enjoy today. So that takes us into kilometre three and talking of three, that's our third visit to Ghoul Park Run. Ghoul Park Run has great facilities. There's plenty of car parking. The toilets next to the cafe are open just after our arrival, which was around about eight o'clock. And after the park run, we went into the cafe and it was well served with a lovely log fire, which was welcome on a cold January day. So into kilometre four now and I picked up the chap we can see here in the bright green top. His PB was under 25 minutes, he was running without a watch so for the last few K I coached him through counting down reassuring him we were on pace to run his target time of sub 25 today. If you've seen us past the um, tail walkers and some of the volunteers there you can see the nice wide pass, there's no real congestion on the course, you can see Dawn here having a nice clear run pacing sub 28 so if you fancy coming to West Park in Ghoul you can get your head down and you can run unimpeded all the way around this lovely course. So into the last kilometre and the chap I've been running with had a really strong finish. You can see here's a speck in the distance. It really pulled away in the last 400 metres and he got to ring that all important PB bell on today's park run. Just coming into the finishing line now, my watch measuring slightly under 3.09 for a time of 24.21. <laughs> What's your name, mate? I do a YouTube channel. James oh. Jessup. James Jessup, UPB, yeah. probably 24, 20 ish. Lovely. Well done, James. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, 
Pacing is an enjoyable way to spend a Saturday morning at Parkrun. There didn't seem to be many around me while I was running around. However, as I came around to the five kilometer point, there was a woman who passed me. So you never know, she may have been tracking me all the way because she did have a final sprint to get over that line. So the time that I finished the parkrun in was 27.29. So pacing a parkrun is quite challenging because potentially somebody else's happiness on a Saturday morning is down to your execution. Um, obviously using Chorus and Garmin, you're hoping that they're measuring perfectly accurately. I got 3.09, so pretty much bang on. I wanted to leave a little bit in hand in case it was under measuring, so okay. yourself. Well, yeah, I found it quite challenging because it was a mixture of tarmac uh, gravel paths and grass. Yeah, so yeah, if you're pacing a park run, one like this is relatively straightforward because it's quite flat, but as Dawn says, there are changes of surface. You have to account for going slightly slower on the grass at the far end and slightly quicker on this tarmac down here. It's not a course we're massively familiar with, although we've done it twice before. So you're just hoping, as I say, you watched us measure it accurately. And within margin of tolerance, it pretty well did. Well done us! <laughs> So we hope you've enjoyed joining us on this visit to Gould Parkrun. If you have, please give this video a like. And if you'd like to follow our future parkrun journeys, then please consider subscribing. We upload parkruns and other training videos on a twice weekly basis. So until next time, keep on keeping on. Keep on keeping on.